I think they'll they'll do for what we need. Um, what I like to do is I like to lay it on a piece of paper like this. So you know, make sure you kind of come up and watch this. I like to, and then I like spray. And you want to really kind of douse the mouse, so to speak. Right? So this is really a disinfection step. Right? So that you want to make sure the fur is wet. And essentially what we're going for here is going to be, and right now I have to sterilize these, but you can kind of see this. Yeah, the, the end of the uh, chest, cat, the, the, the uh, rib cage is about right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to snip skin like right in that area and do the peeling from there, okay? So... Okay, so you want you want a pretty clean work area, and you want to avoid any kind of fire hazard. So in flaming, essentially you don't have to hold the thing in the flame. You essentially just do that and let the alcohol burn off. Right? Don't don't make it too hot. With scissors, kind of the same thing. Yeah, with scissors are a little bit tricky because um, sometimes fire will persist in that little that little area, and if you come down and hit your mouse with fire, of course it will erupt into, it'll start burning, and that's why that 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 paper towel is there. All right, so I'm gonna come in here, and I'm basically gonna make just a little snip. Through the skin. I don't really want to get down into the chest, into the peritoneal cavity. And once I've done that, what you want to do is you really want to peel this mouse out so you can see everything. All right. So now you can see how transparent that thing is. Yeah, you can see all the intestines and everything. All right. So now what I want to do. Remember the whole thing with the with the hub on this thing is you wanna you wanna make sure first off the needle is tight and that this this is kind of loose. take about two and a half mils and the rest is going to be with air this is a tiny tiny mouse Notice how I'm holding this, it's going to be, it's called bevel up, so the point's going to go in first. Once the needle is in, you'll notice that an air pocket kind of develops. And kind of keep an eye on where that little hole is. Sterile pasture pipette. Hey. 
you don't have to really put this on really, really f deep, just as long as it's seated in there. Also note where your fingers are. Yeah, you don't want to be touching up in that area. That's seated. collect as much juice as you can from that from that area. Looks like some of this already drained out. You don't have to chitter it? Um at this point it looks pretty dry. I wait normally I waited a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna go in and grab some more. or any of the intestines. So basically, that's basically the drill. Right. So I'm going to discard that for the moment. So, you know, in this case, there's there must be a tear or something in the skin because I'm losing some of the fluid. But anyway, uh, we've got plenty of cells in there. So this, these are going to be the cells that we use. What, Whatever volume of liquid you collect, and I would say wash out your mouse about two to three times, uh, we will then take this tube and we're going to spin it down in one of the benchtop centrifuges and then resuspend the pellet in hat medium and then and then plate that on onto, onto macrophage plates. After you're done with that, what I want you to do is I want you to do a dissection of the mouse and that, that's the other thing I want to demonstrate. And that dissection would be to find the, the spleen in anticipation of what we're going to be doing next time. So the basic operation that you're going to be doing next time would involve taking two petri dishes and pouring a small amount of um, GKN into both like that So what we want to do, you can actually, you see that kind of um, kidney bean kind of shaped thing right there? 
that's actually the spleen. All right, so I want to get that out. So essentially what we're going to do is cut through the peritoneal cavity. Turn the mouse on its side. And then dissect out that spleen. The mice that you're going to be 